come out and who that we've come out to, that this represents, through him Amen. we can be worthy. Amen. Not of what we've done, but all That's because right. of what he done. Amen. And that for us, and that for the whole world. And uh, I'm thankful that uh, today that Jesus both bled, died, gave up the ghost, and that on the cross and was placed in the grave. But yet, well, I come back each and every time, every opportunity I get a chance to. Yeah. He didn't stay there. Yeah. <laughs> but he arose yes, he the did. third and the point of day. Thank you, Jesus. Every other sacrifice that was ever offered throughout all time right. didn't come by. That's right. When it was slain, uh, slew, killed, the drained of his blood, that was the end of it. Yeah. But not with Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the front of this table, do this in remembrance of me. We don't we don't do this just because New Providence Church says to do it. I hate to say, I, I wish a lot more churches would do it. And there's a lot that does, but there's a lot that don't. And we see it in all of our churches. Not everybody partakes of this. This here is the only thing that Brother Tommy Dunn says, that you're not uh, able and not partake of it if you're lost. So sometimes it worries me a little bit that people that don't want to partake of this. I do it because I love him. Amen. 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 I want to give you glory and honor. Amen. Yes. That's what this represents. Amen. When he set it up, you know, he done it for the love and that of his uh, disciples. Brother Bruce preached on 70 and went down to 12. Read over and did you read them a few verses he was talking about over in the back of the chapter? Jesus looked at them and said, Will you leave me also? They said, Well, Lord, where else could we go? For we believe and are sure that thou art the Son of God. That's why I'm here tonight. Amen. I tasted of the sacrifice that Amen. Jesus gave that on Calvary. Yeah. That his body was broken, his blood was shed. Thanks be unto God that sword that pierced his side uh, and that blood of water come down. I've been washed by it. Yeah. Praise his holy name. Uh, I know where he brought me from. I know where he's taking me to. Yeah. Amen. I love him. Amen. Bless I dearly, dearly love him. Bless his holy name. And that to see. Thank you, Jesus. Bless him. Thank you. <laughs> this is one of the holiest, if not the holiest to me, uh, things that we do. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me and the office you do it. Happy are you. He commanded that those that would be saved uh, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Ghost. These things Jesus left by for us to do. That's right. For those that's been born again. Right. For you to do. Amen. For you to keep up. That's right. Why? Because you still show that you believe that He is the Son of God. <clears throat> Thankful that today. For His great love and His great mercy. All this up here this evening represents something. You remember back when Jesus rose out of the grave and the stone was rolled away and they looked in there and he had risen and he was gone. His grave clothes were there but the napkin that was upon his face was folded up real neatly and laid aside. He's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> You remember when Mary, when he spoke unto him, Mary, yeah. 
And her eyes was opened up. You remember when he spoke to you? Praise his holy name. I had sense enough. Listen to that. The heed to his call. The heed to his voice. And he said, Mary. And she turned around and her eyes was open. She seen it was him. She went, I believe, to hug his neck, to bow down at his feet. She said, don't touch me yet, for I've yet to have seen it. Don't touch me yet. They's coming today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to get to be in this presence. Yeah, man. We'll get to see him eye to eye, face to face. But listen, here we're honoring him. Just the same. Just the same. We're honoring him. And that today. This bread that we're about to partake of and this wine, it's all natural. Made by these, some of these ladies' hands. Jesus, what he had there in his hands, when it was in his hands, it was just a plain old bread. But you know what he done? He prayed and blessed the bread. And that's what we're going to do here tonight to each and every one. That we're going to pray and ask God to change it from its natural to its spiritual. That's why those 70, I believe, left. Now, that's my belief. They didn't have the spiritual implanted within themselves yet. They couldn't stand to say, We know that thou art the Christ, the Son of God. They couldn't say that. Only the 12. And he said, have I not chosen you twelve and one of you are the devil? Yes, the old devil's still among us in that today. He's still trying to seek and destroy. Thanks be unto God. Keep your trust in Jesus. When he left up and they seen him ascending away, the voice, the angel spoke to him and said, You men of Galilee, why stand you here gazing up? This same Jesus. In like manner is going to return. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking to that day. I may not get to see him come between the uh, split the eastern skies. The way things are looking, I believe I will. I believe I will. But if I don't, if I'm laying in the grave out here, hey, I'm going to get to raised before you are. Yeah. <laughs> I like them all out like there. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to beat you. But praise His holy name. I hope everybody in the house tonight can partake of this. If you can, God gets a tug. Hey, don't sit there and let the old devil get the victory. Don't let the old devil win the battle. You come on. You get your heart right with God. You cry out to Jesus, Lord, forgive me. I'm telling you right now, old country boy raised up over here across the little mountain, up on the, in the sticks, as they say. Didn't have a, I've had schooling, but uh, I tell some of them, I like to tell that radio host that, you know, used to be Bob, you know, he spelled it B O B backwards, you know, he spelled it the same way B O B. Uh, well, I fell first grade. <laughs> but, you know, had to go back. I want to tell some of them, don't blame poor old Bob. Uh, the teachers failed in my, them years or fell on it backwards. You know. God can give you grace. God's grace is sufficient. I'm going to tell you, there ain't nothing different. There ain't nothing the same when God speaks to you. When God speaks to a person, they know. They know it's God. <laughs> We're not able to change this from this natural to this spiritual. Well, let's go to Jesus, the one who gave it that he might. Our dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come on that before you, O oh God, thanking you, Father, for this sacrifice, Lord, that you gave us. Thanking you, God, Father, that dear Lord, Father, for your Son, Jesus, dear God, who was obedient all the way and that even by the death of the cross, O oh God. We thank you, dear God, for the example. God, Father, that he said, Lord, Father, that he give us, and most of all, Father, for thy Holy Spirit, dear God. Father, that you give us, dear God, that we know, Father, that you want us our blessed Savior, dear God, and that we're saved, Father, that you're coming again, and that, Father, to receive us, dear God. That blessed hope, dear God, that blessed peace, dear 
pray, dear God, that you take this prayer, Father, and change it from this natural to this spiritual, oh God, that each and every hand, dear God, reach forth and take the Father's heart, we pray, dear God, and be blessed And that from on high. Lord, we ask, dear God, Father, once to be blessed in Jesus' holy name. Brother Deacon's come to strength amongst the congregation.
unintentional sometimes it does happen if they've been a sister that's been overlooked or changed your mind if you'll raise your hand we'll ask the brother deacon to come away upon you. I see now it's been a brother I see now amen we'd like to say first of all we're glad to be here tonight we're glad that we know the Lord most wonderful thing that's ever happened to anybody is to be saved, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I remember years ago, I'm, I'm going to tell how old I am probably, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, I remember years ago when, when I started out on this journey, I'm talking about football. It's been a long time ago. Tommy, I don't, I don't believe you was here. But I believe there was one or two people here. I believe it was Sister Tippin was probably here. And I remember, I remember I was sitting right over there on that, in that bench. Never will forget it, as long as I will. First foot boy I've ever been in. I've been in it ever since. And it, it's got better every time I got in it, I tell you. And I don't deserve to be back here. Boy, I'll tell you what, the Lord done so much for me that I just can't pay him back, Brother Tarver. I can't repay him. You know. I know you can't work yourself into heaven, but boy, I want to, I love the Lord and I want to do just as much to help him. And, uh, you know, the Bible says in there, if we help our brother, we're helping him. You know? And it's good to see all you good people here tonight. It's good to be here, I'll tell you. Uh, but most of all, it's good to know the Lord. Amen. Uh, it's wonderful Amen. to know that man tonight that gave his life on Calvary, people that I could have life. Amen. And he gave it all there on Calvary's cross, listen, that we could have life. And we all, people, I'll tell you what, we ought to be praising him every day. Amen. We ought to be uh, thanking him every day. We ought Amen. to be doing what we can, listen. Because time is drawing near. I mean, the time is coming short uh, when it's going to all be over one of these days, I'll tell you. And uh, I'll tell you what, it'll be too late then when the, when the Lord splits the eastern skies. The Bible says that, uh, I believe it, as Brother Rick said a while ago, I don't believe we've got much time. I don't believe there's much time left, people, by looking at the signs and the things that's happening in our world today. I'll tell you what, uh, it's... Uh, it's a draw nigh every day. The Bible says it's even at the door, you know. And he could return. Listen, he could return any time. Just you, it, the Bible says that he could return at the cock crow. And that's early in the morning, or of the evening he could return. People, or he could return before we get home tonight, you know. And that's how fulfilled the Bible is. It's been it's been fulfilled right quick, right quick. It's been fulfilled. Uh, but thank God tonight. Yeah. If you're here tonight and you don't know the Lord, listen, you need to get right with yeah, the Lord. Amen. You need to get ready. Amen. Get ready for that day. Because He sure is coming. Amen. Surely, surely, He's a coming. Listen, I know you've heard that all your life, and I have. I've heard it all my life, people, but He is a coming. Amen. That's right. He's a coming. Amen. And it's a coming quick. This here, this here wine that we're partaking of here, Brother Rick says it's just a natural thing, but what it represents, boys, what it, uh, it's something, what it represents. It represents the blood of the Lamb. It represents the blood of Christ uh, that died on the cross. Listen, <laughs> and they planted that crown of thorns and they put it down on his head. Amen. And it began to trickle him. And he done that, people. He done that for you and me. He gave his life. And there was an awful price, listen, that he paid. But he paid that because he loved you and he loved me. Oh, if we could just see that unconditional love that God, that Jesus died. We don't understand it. We don't understand the love, listen, that he had. That he gave there on the cross of Calvary. 
And he'd have done it if it hadn't been nobody but me. I believe he'd have done it, Brother Tommy. I believe he would. I believe he'd have died, darling, for me if I'd have been the only one that did. But he died for the sin of the world. Yeah. Listen, every man, every little boy, every little girl that, listen, that might be born, Jesus died and he paid the price right there yeah. on the cross. He brought you there on the cross. Listen. But there'll be many that don't accept him, listen, brother. But listen, uh, it won't be because, listen, that he didn't die there. He died for everybody. Uh, listen, that everybody would accept him. The Bible said he come not to do his will, but the Father's will. He come all the way from heaven, people down here, to die for you and me. And all that makes me want to do something for him, don't you? Yeah. I want to lift him up. I want to praise his name. Listen, why? Because he deserves it, people. He deserves every honor and every praise, listen, that we might give him tonight. Listen, I'm not worthy, people. Listen, I don't deserve to go to heaven. Listen, brother, but he said you can go. If you just believe in me, if you just trust I in me, he said you can go to heaven, brother. Listen, ain't it good? Ain't it good? It's good. We can go. We can go if we'll just trust in Him, believe in Him. This here wine, this right here, it won't, it won't save you. That's right. It won't save you. What it represents, it's good. Amen. It's good as gold tonight. Listen, it's just, just as good as it can be. What it represents, it represents the man. Listen, the blood that he shed on Calvary's cross. Paid for my sins and your sins. Made the way. He paid the way. And all I'm thankful. Ain't you thankful tonight? Amen. That he died for you and me. Oh, I am. I'm thankful tonight. Sort of that. The precious Lamb of God. What he went through was that I could have life. That you could have life. There ain't no way, listen, that I can change this here. But there's one on the right hand of the Father yeah. tonight that can change this from the natural to the spiritual. Let's go to Him. Our Heavenly Father tonight, Lord, we thank you, God. God, we thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord. Heavenly Father, for coming down here, Lord, giving you life, Father. Dear God, even though we didn't deserve it, your Heavenly Father, God, Lord, you said that we believe you, trust in you, God. Confess you, dear Heavenly Father, God, before the world, Heavenly Father, Lord, if we be saved, dear Heavenly Father, we can go to heaven, Father, and live, God, eternally, dear Heavenly Father, God. Lord, we pray, God, tonight, Heavenly Father, Lord, this week. Heavenly Father, Lord, bless each hand, dear Heavenly Father, God, that reaches for Dear Heavenly Father, and help us, God, to realize, dear Heavenly Father, bring to earth the members, Lord, what this stands for, dear God. Father, that it stands, dear Heavenly Father, for something tonight, God. Father, that one stands for thy Son, Jesus, Lord, that gave his life on Calvary's cross, Lord. Father, that we can have life. Father, we pray, Lord, for the next time. Heavenly Father, bless His church, dear Heavenly Father. God, bless each one of you, Lord, tonight we pray, God. Father, we can't change this, dear Heavenly Father, but Lord, we know you can. You can change it, God, from a natural Lord, to a spiritual Father. We ask you, God, to do that. Heavenly Father, do we ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother Deacon, you come. It's pretty good. Brother
I know it's not intentional, but sometimes someone was overlooked. Maybe it changed your mind. There's been a sister over here that's been overlooked. It changed your mind. But brother Deacon, wait up on him. Been a brother. Let's see now. Brother Tom. Brother Deacon's going to take charge of tape. There were two of the disciples that were present that night when Jesus broke the bread and passed around that cup and set for them an ordinance that would be kept and established for the church of Christ from that point on until he returns. And I'm confident that if this world stands another thousand years, those that believe in Jesus Christ will still be keeping the Lord's Supper. But there were two disciples that were there that night that we have recorded information from, specifically John. Matthew was there, but he didn't write about this second part. But John did. John didn't write about the first part, but he wrote about this one. And in the 13th chapter of John, you'll find that he began that chapter with a single verse that gave the purpose yeah. to which we do this. He said, in supper being ended, that Jesus loving the disciples, he loved them to the end. That's what this part is about. The first part of, of this service is about Christ's love for us. The second part of this service is about our love for one another. It's optional. The scripture says that supper being ended, he laid aside his garments and he took a towel and he girded himself. And he began to wash the disciples' feet. Now there's one thing about this particular part of the service. A lot of people don't understand it. Truth is, a lot of people don't participate in it. But Peter didn't understand it either. Try. As Jesus knelt down in front of Peter, he said, No, you'll not wash my feet. Jesus said, If I don't wash your feet, he said, You have no part with me. Peter quickly changed his mind, having heard that. And he said, then not my feet only, but my hands and my head. And Jesus assured him, he said, you need but to wash your feet. And he went through and Jesus washed all of their feet. And when he was finished, he said, I have given you an example. He said, what I've done, he said, you don't understand that. He said, but you will. And he said, I'm leaving for you an example. That as I have washed your feet, 
you ought also to wash one another's feet. Now, there's certainly um, folks that, that take that literal, and then there's some that take it as an analogy of how we ought to serve one another daily. Uh, I think it's both. I think we ought to keep the very example since Christ said specifically, I leave for you an example. And as I have done to you, you ought also to do to one another. So we as a church take it literal and we, we do that. But we should also love one another, not just in performing a part of a service, but we should love one another whether we're here or, or out there. The Bible said that we're not to love in, in word or tongue, but to love in deed and truth. The way you prove your love is that you do something. And this is doing something. What he said to them in the scripture was, is he said, happy are ye if you do these things. I've never been in a foot question where folks weren't happy. I think the reason for that is, is that we, we do the very thing that, that Christ did for them. It was uncomfortable it, at the beginning, they didn't know what he was doing. And for a lot of folks, they're uncomfortable with just the concept itself. But here's what I can tell you. When we obey God, the Spirit of God honors that. Amen. And the Spirit of God is what makes us happy when we try to love one another. This service is about love. Loving your brother. The Scripture said we're to esteem our brother higher than ourselves. We become a servant to another. And we do that not just in, 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 in guarding this service, but we need to do that in our hearts. That as we leave this place, we serve continually. But we, we live what He said to us. That's that we love one another as He has loved us. Brethren, make ready for the foot washing.
service. The Bible said supper being ended, they sung a song and they went out. And that's what we'll do tonight. We'll sing a song and go out. But we want to shake your hand before you depart. Remember the revival starts tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Right here, pray for the Anthony and Thomas to be preaching revival. So remember them. Most of all, pray for the lost and the backslid. We have so many that need to get right. So everyone that can, come around fellowship. Keep praying, Lord willing, if you can come back tomorrow night, please come back. Sir, welcome.